so hello guys and welcome to my channel sir. today in this video we will discuss about the pollution and environmental hazard caused by different power plant and here we have all together six, six power plant and here we will discuss all the power plant in individually and the pollution and the environmental hazard caused by all of these power plant so firstly we will start through solar power plant so here we will start through solar power plant Normally, here hydroelectric and solar power plant have no polluting effect in the environment, and the hydroelectric project does not produce the atmosphere at all. But it can be argued that the solar power station in the long run may offset the balance in nature. And to extend the argument to the logical end, just imagine a very vast area of land is covered by solar collectors of different forms. Then the minimum area means the minimum required sun ray may not reach the earth surface. This will certainly kill the vegetation on the earth and also the bacteria which are destroyed by the sun ray may survive, giving rise to new types of health problems. Furthermore, we can say that the evaporation of water and consequent rain may change their cycles. And added to this, we can also say that the average temperature of the sun of the earth and the ocean may change. So these are some of the environmental hazard caused by solar power plant. Now here we will move towards the hydro power plant. So you have second point as a hydro power plant and we know in hydro, in hydro power plant there is a dam. A dam that creates a reservoir may obstruct fish migrations. A dam and reservoir can also change natural water temperatures, water chemistry, river flow characteristics and seals load. And all of these changes can affect the ecology and physical characteristics of the rivers. And these charges may have negative effect on the native plants and on animals in and around the rivers. And manufacturing the con concrete and steel in, in hydropower dams requires requ equipment that may produce emissions. And also greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane also form in reservoirs and be emitted into the atmosphere. And the exact amount of greenhouse gases that form in hydropower reservoirs is uncertain. And hydropower dams are responsible for the extinctions and near extinctions of a number of species and are a major contributor to the significant loss of aquatic biodiversity. And lastly, you can say that hydropower plants often divert water around the entire sections of rivers, leaving them dry or worse, constantly alterna alternating between unnatural drought and food like conditions so these are the environmental hazard caused by the hydro power plant similarly we have the next one as steam power plant so in steam power plant it changes the local ecosystems high particulate matters emission levels due to burning of interior grade coal coal which leads to the generation of large quantities of fly ash and emissions of so2 gases and you know too and greenhouse gases are also matter of concerns and high noise levels due to release of high pressure steam and running of fans and motors and also you can say that the disposal of large quantities of fly ash has occupied thousands of hectares of land which includes agriculture and forest land too and due to steam power plant there will be a smoke formation their effect on photosynthesis of plants similarly there can be water pollution similarly there can be air pollution and and they can there can also be the noise pollution so these are the pollutions and the environmental hazard caused by this steam power plant similarly we have the fourth point as geothermal power plant so the different pollutions and the environmental hazard caused by geothermal geothermal power plants so now we'll discuss this so drying of hot springs and gases in the surrounding area leading to the loss of scenery and tourism and loss of rare thermophilic plants and algal growth. Toxic waste water entering clean aquifers due to lowering of the water tables. Violent explosion caused by build up of steam pillow in empty hot underground reservoirs which have previously killed people working in geothermal power plants. And also, landslide can occur due to temperature and water level in rocks, especially in tectonically active areas. And subsides or sinking of land. Similarly, there can be air and chemical pollution due to geothermal power plant. And induced earthquake caused by lubrications of fault 
when waste fluid is reinjected into the rocks so these are the few uh, pollutions and the environmental hazard that is caused by the geothermal power plant similarly here in the fifth point we have nuclear power, nuclear power plant so nuclear energy does not produce carbon emissions directly and the construction of plants uranium mining and manufacturing operations all produce carbon dioxide on a huge scale and these all contribute to the global warming and a major environmental concern related to nuclear power plant is the creation of radioactive waste such as uranium mil uranium mil tailings uh, spent reactor fuel and other radio radioactive waste similarly due to nuclear power plant it can cause water pollution and sometimes nuclear power, nuclear power plant at high doses uh, ionizing radiations can cause immediate damage to persons bodies and it can cause security threat and due to nuclear power plant it can, it can also cause the thermal pollution sometimes cause radioactive pollution and waste from reactors solid liquid or in gases uh, so these are the pollution and environmental hazard caused by the nuclear power plant similarly we have the six point as thermal power plant so the environment here environment is polluted to a great extent by thermal power plant and the air pollution in large measures is caused by the thermal power plant burning conventional fuels such as coal oil or gases and the power plant pollutant of a major concerns are major concern from thermal power plant includes thermal pollution similarly solid waste emissions and gases emissions and the various gases pollutant include sulfur dioxide SO2 similarly nitrogen dioxide NO2 S2S carbon monoxide CO and its effect on man so due to sulfur dioxide uh, it can cause suffocation to man it sometimes cause irritations of throat and eyes similarly respiratory uh, respiratory uh, respiration systems problems and uh, due to SO2 it can cause uh, the effect on vegetation like uh, destruction of sensitive crops and reduced yield similarly nitrogen dioxide can affect uh, on human as having the problem of irritations oedema of lungs similarly carbon monoxide can affect the man by poison by poisoning increased accident liability and so these are the pollutions and the environmental hazard caused by the thermal power plant so now we will discuss about the thermal pollution so here we will discuss now about thermal pollution so here first of all we need to know what is thermal pollution so the discharge of thermal energy into water means the discharge of thermal energy into water is commonly called as the thermal pollution and there can be the different causes of thermal pollution so we'll discuss about here we'll discuss about the causes causes of, causes of thermal pollution similarly the effect of thermal pollution and its control measures so we'll discuss here these all three points so first let's start with the causes so what is the causes of thermal pollution so causes include as water as cooling agent in power manufacturing and industrial plants and soil erosions deforestations and natural causes include like volcanic eruptions geothermal activity under oceans seas similarly the effect of thermal pollution include decrease in dissolved oxygen levels increase in toxin loss of biodiversity ecological impact increase metabolic rate similarly to control the thermal pollution we have some points as cooling point cooling points and cooling towers we can use cooling points and cooling towers to control thermal pollution where the heat is released through evaporation convection heat transfers and radiation and these are artificial structures similarly you can use the techniques of cogeneration so cogeneration is a process by which the heated water is recycled for domestic use or industrial heating 
so through this we can control the thermal position sir so thanks for watching sir and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel sir.